There you go, Cleveland. It's all you, man. How you guys doing? Um, I'm going to play some music for you for all the other acts get on. Um, my name's Cleveland Blue. And uh, I've been working on this song for a little while. Um, yeah, let's do it. something I wrote last night been working on um, since then. Um, let's play something else. How about some prints? Huh. 
And it may cause you sorrow And it may cause you any pain Oh, one, one, one time, see you laughing. Only want to see you laughing in a purple rain, purple rain, a purple rain, purple rain, a purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain. I only want to see you laughing in a purple rain. Honey, I never want to be a weekend lover. I just want to be some kind of friend, eh? But we will never steal you from another. It's such a shame I spent it away at you in purple rain, a purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain. I only want to see you laughing in the purple rain. Honey, I know, I know the times are changing. It's about time you don't tell something new that means you too. You say you won't leave her, but you can't make me mine. I'll leave you to close it. Let me guide you to the purple rain, purple rain, a purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain. Oh, I see you. Burning from one 
wanting you And if you Could let them Oh, 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 you Oh, how grateful I would be Oh, come on oh, Come on, baby Oh, just be my woman, just be my love. No, I need somebody. Oh, oh, oh me time. I need somebody. He's loving on, hold me through the night. I need somebody just like you. Thank you, guys. Hey, yay, that was amazing. Thank you. Cleveland Blue, everybody. Uh, he performed last week at our first house concert, our first virtual house concert. Um, he was supposed to play at the Weather Room at the Cyrus Hotel and some other gigs around. So um, welcome, everybody. Good evening. Happy Friday. I've got a little bit of a shadow, don't I, on me? Sorry, I'm a little little dark in here tonight but um welcome to 785 magazines house concert and the impetus for this is of course we are all socially um isolated and staying away you know from each other and there were lots and lots of great um shows that got canceled and so selfishly i wanted to still hear these musicians but also we know that for many of them that um, impedes on their income. And so this is a way that we can not only experience and still celebrate the power of music and their point of view, but also financially help recoup some of those lost wages. It doesn't do anything for the venue, unfortunately, or for those servers, um, but we can help maybe just a few. So knowing that everything when you were asked like for a cover charge when you entered or you can do it any time or be prompt, um, all of that money will go directly to the artist. And so what was really great last week, I thank you everybody who joined us and I think everybody who paid that cover, we were able to with an hour send, um, you know, just over about a hundred dollars to each artist. Um, we had one artist who gave it back to the pool, and so that'll go to um, some of the artists maybe tonight. And we are going to do these every Friday night from 7 to 8.30 through the month of April. So uh, make sure you come back and stay tuned, and thank you again for joining us. So uh, before we get started, a little bit of um, housekeeping things. First of all, if you were here last week, you know about my phobia, or if you will, about wearing the band's t-shirt to the concert. So last week I wore a Soul Rebel in the V shirt, which would not have been appropriate today, obviously because of our guests, uh, Justin Fowler and Nate Demon, who both play uh, with Soul Rebel in the Beast. So today I have got on my, if you can see it's kind of dark, my King Biscuit Heritage and Blues Festival shirt that um, is an event that happens in Helena, Arkansas. I got to go back in 2010. I got to meet the amazing BB King there um, and help backstage thanks to a friend, Colonel Eddie Sharon, who used to be the club manager at Topeka Civic Theater. So everything always seems to circle back home, which I love. Uh, music brings us together and place in Topeka brings us together. So we got a great show tonight. We've got Ellie Smith and Ryan. We have Justin Fowler. We have Nate in the evening. My friend Sarah Fizell from Arts Connect is gonna come tell you about some groovy things that they're doing. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So if you are on the computer, on the right hand side, you see this kind of chat area. That's for you to chat with guests. Down below, uh, there's ask a question. You can ask a question of me. You can ask a question of the artist. We will try to answer those uh, during the show or afterwards. And then you can see those during the replay as well. And then there's this little call to action button at the bottom that says, uh, I'll hide it and then reshow it. This says links. And this takes you to a page on 785.com where you will find links to all of the artists, um, to different things that we talk about in all of the shows and uh, just kind of a one stop shop for that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring out my good friend, Sarah Fizell from Arts Connect. They are doing some super groovy things right now. And I would love to have her kind of tell you a little bit about that. And then she's going to introduce Ryan and Ellie, who are our first performers this evening. So let me get this prompt. Things have 
been a little tricky tonight. So it's like the sophomore album of of the band, right? This is where we either make it or break it. But let's see here if we can get Sarah pulled up. I think I hit Arts Connect instead of Sarah. So I might have already messed up. It might be the user here. Let's see. Miss Sarah. Okay, it says that we're uh, accepting and uh, connecting. So she should be here just any moment. And again, I wanna thank Cleveland and uh, Vaughn Kaufman from The Last Songwriter uh, for performing last week for us. Matt Spezia from Poetry uh, for Personal Power um, is gonna be here later and he's got a guest, Black Soul. They're gonna be doing some performance and some some poetry and really powerful and, and great things as well. So um, let's see here. And if not, we'll bring her on afterwards. So, um, do, 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 do. Okay, well, I'm gonna work on this, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and switch over my screen here, though. I'm going to get Ryan and Ellie up here on things. Hopefully they hear me coming in. I have known Ellie, I'm gonna embarrass you really quick. I've known Ellie. Um, since Thank she you. And um, let's see, okay, here we go. Can you hear me now? Hey. Hey. Hi. I'm here while we're getting ready. I was going to do some hey. introductions. I can't. Is it I, the only person who can hear you right now is me because I have you in my ear so that we don't hear you through the microphones. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Well, this is perfect. Then I will talk yes, about so Ellie. Oh, you what you're talking about, but I love you. <laughs> well, I love she you says too. she loves you, but she doesn't know that you're about to say things about her. I am. So I've known Ellie Smith since she was like eight years old. I actually taught her some swimming lessons at Dr. Josie's house in Potwin. I'm talking about how swimming lessons oh, yeah. and I've known her for almost 20 years. And you come from a very um, diverse and depth musical background. You know, everybody in your family is very creative. Um, but I remember you as eight, nine, ten years old performing and singing. And you had something to say then and you still do now as a beautiful mother. And um, I'm glad to call you a friend. Ryan, blow, you blow me away all the time. And I'm just really, really excited to have you guys here. I know you had a couple shows, some with Justin Fowler. Um, I think you and Ryan had some stuff all booked, multiple shows last weekend and this weekend. Um, but thank you yeah. for joining us tonight. So oh, baby. I love you guys. I love you I'm so gonna... much. Thank you so much for putting this together. I really, really love and appreciate you and everything that you do. I'll never well, forget swimming you. lessons in Joseph's backyard. <laughs> um, I still remember how to swim. Well, that's so. good. <laughs> Maybe, you know, we do that. Your job. Your job. <laughs> I'm going I'm to moonlight again. Uh, I can't hear you. I love you. I love you too. Um, I'm going to give you guys the stage. Um, and you guys got about 15 minutes. And it's all you guys. So just take it away. All Why right. Why are you pointing uh, at me? Okay. I was just going to say that I noticed that our uh, video is not coming up. Let me go to the computer and see why. Is it working for her, though? Uh, yeah, it kind of froze up a little bit, but I think yeah. That's very strange. Your sound is there, um, but you just kind of paused out. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we is go. It working for you, baby? It's there we go. Working for you, baby. I had HD on, but we're using Wi Fi, so my guess is that HD was just too much bandwidth for my Wi Fi to deal with. It okay, is. We, uh, we compiled a, a little list of songs that we both, both of us have wanted to do for a while now. Um, we're going to start with an old Susan Tedeschi song that we've played for years many, now. All these many years. <laughs> um, Brian, I fear your guitar may be too loud, but you guys let us know, okay? Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm going to stop you guys real quick. Sorry. I'm putting sound check. No, you're the good. A little too loud. And I okay. really want that to be bad. So back the guitar down a smidge. Let me. Um... This is the world of making it work. Yeah. These That's are the right. times right now where you see what's happening. And you go, eh, that's not right. We're going to make it work. Yeah, I just didn't want people to. to I have to, no idea what's not working because Ryan has all the power right now. Doing in the dance, doing the dance. You're ruining my song, right? <laughs> Distorted. It's not. It's not working at the moment. So we're going to skip over to Justin Fowler. We're going to have him perform, and then I'll talk with you guys kind of on the side and see if we can get it all figured out and bring you back up. Okay. Cool. So just stay right there. But I'm going to talk with you guys off here for a second, and uh, we're going to go ahead and bring Justin Fowler up here, who we were able to sound check and do great things with prior. Hey man, how's it going? Very good. How's everybody doing? Good, good. Thank you so much you. for uh, for joining us again. Um, so tell everybody a little bit about about you, Justin. I know I've known you for several years. Um, I've always known you behind the keys. 
Uh, you come from also an amazing, talented depth, a family with lots of musicians. You're obviously a working musician and have a lot of passion. Um, and you're with, I've got a list here. You're a solo performer, but you also are with a lot of bands. Soul Rebel and the Beast, uh, the Zach Mufasa Band, Ellie Smith, of course. Um, but then some I didn't know, the Cowardly Lions, which is a top 40 cover band. Yeah, and the Fountain City uh, 45s. Yep. So and are those out of Kansas City? Fountain City 45s. Uh, yep. Uh, both of them. Ju uh, Fountain City 45s is with, uh, you might know Dave Liston. Uh, yes. Braille very Watson. Nice. Yes. Mark Hauser. Um, So this is, uh, and then Lauren Mayhew. Yeah. Also from Lawrence that people might not know, but. Uh, so that's uh, kind of a cover band as well. We get booked through a, a booking company and we do a lot of weddings and corporate events and stuff like that. So a lot of Topeka musicians in that band and it's kind of like a super group, you know? Um, so I love the it. Cowardly Lines is, yeah, it's also Kansas City. So they're uh, four vocalists, uh, five in the band, four vocalists. All of them play wow. guitar and do loop pedal stuff, but they also play drums and bass and all that stuff. So it's kind of a super group as well. So uh, cool. I get to play with great, great musicians. It's it's pretty awesome. I love it. Well, I'll make sure to add links to those bands um, and that link button that's down here below. And I want to thank yeah. you. You're in Wichita and you've got a little groovy setup. You really are taking this uh, being in a silo yeah. so social yeah. distancing. I love it. Well, I'm going to minimize yeah. myself. I'm going to let you take it over. You got the stage for about 15 minutes, man. And uh, thank you for being yeah. here and uh, have fun. Yeah, yeah. All right, everybody. Um, my light just, my, my main light right here just went out. So we'll just have to go with the flashy light up here. Um, I'm going to do some tunes. I've been kind of thinking about the times lately. And uh, I would like to, I'm going to do a couple Bob Marley tunes. And then I'm going to do an original. So uh, the first one you'll probably know. Oh yeah, I work with the loop pedal too, so you're gonna hear uh, the song build just a little bit. So just kind of stay tuned here. The 
melody is your head Sing it, this is my message to you So sing it, don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be Everybody sing it. Sing and don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. One more time, y'all. Sing and don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. gonna be all right all right yeah yeah so you know uh things are gonna pass here and things are gonna be okay so all right uh the next one this was from my mom here i think she's watching i haven't practiced this in a while so hopefully i do good Yeah, that's right. That's good. That'll be good. Step into the light. See, we walk where we want to go. See what we want to show. So we hide our insecurities to keep us from being free. Because we worry about judgment. We worry about pain. Let's in my free from all this misery. Too much to interpret. We're about to disagree. We need to talk peace and stop contributing. Because the way things are ain't the way they'll be. We create our future by the things that we be. So whatever's in your heart, we need to follow the light and be rescued from the dark shit. We were made for love, so we were made for love, so we were made for love, we were made for love, oh, oh, step into the light, as we walk, my friend, step into the light, as she holds my hand, step into the light. Wanna go see what we wanna show you how to insecurity to keep us from being free because we worry about judgment, we worry about pain, that's in my free from all this misery. Too much to interpret, we're bound to disagree. We need to talk peace and stop contributing. Cause the way things are ain't the way they'll be. We create the future by the things that we see and by whatever's in your heart. We need to follow the light and be rescued from the darkness. We were made for love. So we were made for love. So we were made for love. We were made for love. Oh, 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 oh,
the light, step into the light. Yeah, I got time for one more here. Is that okay? I got time. Yeah, okay, I see yeah on there. Cool. I'm going to do another Bob Marley tune. Two more, Justin. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. And stick You're around. Um, we've got a thank you, everybody. Sorry for the little hiccup that we had earlier with Ellie and Ryan. We're actually going to uh, wait and we'll have them back on next week. I just really want to make sure that you guys get the most amazing sound. Um, I was really digging Justin. Is that an Airstream you're in? I'm in an, air, an Airstream, yes. It is. I got my, dog, my dog, Curtis, if you can see him, he's right there. Oh, hey, hey Curtis. Curtis. He's been hanging out the whole time, you know, he's just <laughs> tired yeah. boy. Garcia's with me, of course, and he was just like, yeah, yeah. trying to get up on there, and, you know. Um, again, thank you, everybody. Um, this is the 785 House Concert. This is our second one. We're doing these every Friday from 7 to 8.30, featuring local musicians and their abodes, bringing them live to you with some great music. Um, any cover charge that you pay will go directly to the musicians. So we appreciate your support for that, but also a way that we can kind of all get together and um, be together in some way. So um, we just had Justin Fowler, which I appreciate. I'm gonna bring Cleveland Blue back up. I'm gonna have him do a couple more songs and then we will have uh, Matt Spezia and Black Soul that will come on, Poetry for Personal Power, and uh, they'll do their thing. Hey, Sarah, there you are. Hi. Hi, this is my dear friend, Sarah Fazell from Arts Connect, from her house. And uh, they're doing some really awesome things. And uh, will you just tell us a little bit about it? And I've got some links that people can go do afterwards. Yeah, sure, I'm sorry, I'm looking a little Oompa Loompa this evening. Um, right. Hey everybody, I am Sarah from Arts Connect. And Arts Connect, I hope you know, is um, Topeka's umbrella arts organization. So we represent the arts of all disciplines um, throughout Topeka. We do the first Friday art walk when we're able to do it and we paint murals and we give grants, which we'll are about to announce here in the next few days. And um, we've ramped up a project called the Local Color Project. So we would encourage all artists, whether you're a visual artist or a performing artist, to send us something that people can print off at home and um, um, print out and perform or color or draw or paint. And we are also working on some coloring similar sheets that will allow you to create your own mural at your own house. So um, that's it. You can find us at artstopeka.org. We have a new website and a new URL. And thank you to Carice and to the musicians for putting this all together. It is, um, as a person who spends usually more than one evening a night um, seeing live music, this has been a little bit of a, I feel homesick for um, a live music venue. So it's good to, it's good to see you all and um, I hope you have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sarah. Um, it is really cool what uh, what you all are doing. And um, I went and checked it out and they are, they're like coloring pages that you can print out. So you got Dave um, Lowenstein, Lowenstein, is that how you say it? Lowenstein? Lowenstein, yeah. Yeah, from Lawrence. Who's great mural wall. Yes, which, um, which I love and we did a feature on. And Shannon Foquette, I haven't heard that name for a while. She's an artist that, that I have on my walls as well. And Jennifer Bolander and uh, just some really amazing things. And then even some poetry from Dennis Etzel Jr. So um, check it out. The new logo is groovy. The new place is groovy, although no one can check that out for a month. But um, thank you for everything you're doing. Uh, First Friday Art Walk is the thing. I'm going to be so sad next week. <laughs> Yeah, thanks everybody, and um, when we can come see us, we've got a we, we're excited. We have a um, an official fire code capacity of forty nine. So I hope when we get up to the fifty people allowed, we'll still be able to have friends over. So hang in there, everybody. Um, Thank you. I love it. So if I'm number fifty, maybe I know somebody. I can still no. I'm kidding. Maybe. We wouldn't. We wouldn't do that. Maybe. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sarah. And the links to those are down here at the bottom, the 785 links. And I appreciate it. And uh, stick around and tell your family hi, okay? I will. See okay. everybody. Bye.
Hey, Cleveland, back to you, man. How's it going? Good. <clears throat> Right. This, is a, this is a very influential song for me when I was growing up, so. She never mentions a word addiction answer the company yes yeah, tell you she's an orphan after you meet a family A lock of hair in her pocket. She wears a cross around her neck. Yes, the hair is from a little boy. And the cross is someone she has not met, not yet. Said she taught to angels. Paints her eyes as black as night now. Oh, she pulls her shades down tight. Yeah, there's a smile when the pain comes. The pain gonna make everything alright. Poor ass, yet she talks to angels. Sleep, show me how this town 
shared a dream. Love listen by night blue came to Babylon. Found out that the I don't take so sweet. And now it's guitars, Cadillac, in Billy music, going on the streets that I call. And now it's guitars, Cadillac, in Billy music, on the thing that keeps me hanging on. And uh, he is from by poetry from Personal Power, and uh, he is going to um, do a little bit and bring up uh, a friend of his, Black Soul, as well. They were supposed to have an event last Friday with the library at the Jayhawk. Hey, how's it going, man? And uh, that event was canceled. How's it going? It's going so well. I do stuff. Yeah, we're having a little bit. You know, everybody is literally on the internet duh, right now. So um, I am working on a few things. Uh, so we'll have for next week that we'll hopefully clean up a little bit of the any delay issues and stuff like that. So stick with us for sure, people. I appreciate it. But um, Matt, we can't see your video, okay? but we can hear you. We can hear you just great. Okay, cool. As long as you guys can hear me, it's like we can so far my screen. So cool. And maybe others can too. I'm going to toggle myself down and let you have the floor here. And then while you're performing, I'll bring up uh, Black Soul here on the green room, okay? Bet on it. Okay. So let me try to bring my camera back up. Let's try to do this. Okay, I see me. Let's see if y'all see me. Do y'all see me? Comment section. Let me know. Do you hear me though? Am I coming in all clear and stuff? but you can hear me great, awesome. So, you guys can't see me, that's okay, I'm at home, you know, wearing a green hoodie, gray sweatpants, it's all good, but, oh, there I am apparently, awesome. So you can see me, we love you. Anyway, I have three new pieces and one kind of old piece, but it fits really well with my theme today. We're gonna have a little bit of fun, we're gonna get personal, we're gonna get real, and then we're gonna get societally real. We're gonna go through the levels and then, I'm going to have the extreme pleasure of introducing one of my favorite poets. In fact, his nickname is your favorite poet, favorite poet, Black Soul from Wichita, who normally has two events during the last weekend of the month, two events at Barleycorn's Lyrics and Laughs, which is a national award-winning open mic right here in Kansas. And it's going to be so much fun to be able to hear him. But before we get there, y'all, I got some pages drenched in purpose to expose. So let's start it off with a piece called Plain Language. Artists, we are phenomenal at expressing ideas in high fashion with beautiful language and pristine metaphor. Unfortunately, there is most certainly still people too stupid to get it. So I figure we should express this in clear, plain, unequivocal language. So let's start simple. White people. 
How are we going to fight an absolute ass ton of wars for spices and herbs, once even lemons, I'm not making that up, once even lemons, but now two-thirds of y'all can't slash don't season your food. How is this even possible? Like, I am genuinely confused. But, Internet, y'all also got to stop saying that white people can't cook. Like, Italy and France did not suddenly just stop existing. Okay, we get the gist. Now it's time to go a touch realer. Questioning of the founding fathers should be a regular thing. In the most famous painting of the signing of the Constitution of the 41 people depicted all but 12 owned slaves. So that's at least 70% of the minds behind the thing that got the concept of equal F. Can't figure out that people are people, but they can be trusted to foresee a proper weapons policy that can endure at least two, more arguably three, complete global transformations. Okay, that makes sense. You just keep on believing that. Y'all see what I'm getting at? Let's go deeper. Do you think the nation would be okay if we called the Federal Bureau of Investigation, Central Intelligence Agency, National Security Agency, just straight up spies? Like, instead of an acronym to hide behind, if we just called them our spies and told people that our spies spy, not survey, but spy on you constantly, and then told people that they break the rights you were told you had every day, would we be okay? Or would we fight back? Would we be okay with, instead of law enforcement officer, discharged weapon, ending black life, we said murder is traitor, murder is civilian? I hear it in your heads right now. Don't you think that's a little... Look, harsh? No, I don't. Let's break it down. And when I'm saying this, I'm not saying all, but I'm saying some. Police swear an oath to uphold the laws of this nation. Let's make no bones about it, because they have made enough. Killing unarmed black people while at the same time taking white mass shooters alive makes what they are doing murder. Murder would be breaking that federal oath that they swore to uphold, so how exactly is that anything besides treason? Would we be okay with that? One more for now. You know, you got to let people grasp the truth. It's sometimes hard to take a lot at one time. There is no heritage with a Confederate flag in any form. It is only hate. But the Civil War was for states' rights. Yes, a state's rights to slavery. It was because of different economic systems. Yes, whether those systems should involve slavery. Slavery ended 150 years ago. Jim Crow, the modern prison system and legal system, you sound ridiculous. You're flying a rebel flag, but love America. You look ridiculous. It's a heritage of owning people and thinking that people can be property. That is ridiculous. Same with Nazis. We fought two wars over this. Y'all are owing to your defeated resoundingly. Seriously. This has been your whole presentation of plain language. Do with it what you will. I'm going to be right over here. Just being right. And that's that piece. So y'all... I, I love having fun with language, but as anybody who knows or has ever been around an artist knows, um, it's sometimes difficult to do that. So this is called Like Marble. Perfection is a matter of willpower. You can't look at the marble and expect David. You can't glance at the ceiling and expect the Sistine, and you can't stare at the page and expect to be Luther. A creator never looks at the empty field and expects to find a finished structure. Rather, they estimate the time that brilliance will take to complete. A true genius will take a seat and listen to experience. Expertise is found in the wisdom of walking on Solomon's road. But we demand this in ourselves. Immediacy and an outcome. But an ill-tilled field bears no yield. Excuses used as your shield. Like the glass in front of a clock. Can you access past that? Where you place the unseen hours towards your tomorrows, where you continue on counting it, on doing on your tomorrows. It seems like a repetitive cycle. And I've walked those miles. I've torn down all my walls to stand before you as a bare vessel, in front of a crowd of my peers and strangers with nothing but my voice and a microphone. I've borne my truth to silence. I've given a soulful whisper and a desperate yell to a notebook. It's a loyalty towards a team who claims personal growth might be a negative. It's being on the highway and looking at friends stuck in a two lane. It's taking pain and being the umbrella for your people's plans. It's standing when they weren't falling. It's striding and succeeding when they weren't failing. It's the bright lights and watching them die and still trying to pull hard people with you. It's being the unformed marble and accepting the chisel the plain heights and displaying beauty, taking the blank page and providing a testament of your belief. Perfection, it couldn't be static. That'd be problematic and boring. Real life, 
as the goalposts always moving with numbers and ending. That means the impact could match. And I can count to infinity, but I can guarantee that those words will help someone mount an attack against those doubts and demons. And that means my work is at least meaning something to someone, so I may not be a masterpiece, but I am a pro work in progress. Let me say that again. I may not be a masterpiece, but I'm a proud work in progress. And I might not express the fullest of faith, but I'll help you to. I may not have the greatest of writing, but it'll be the lightning path catalyst for you to manifest your absolute best. With well, a pen is my instrument. The ink is my pigments and the page for my proclamations. From this day on, I'm gonna make my dreams take shape it's like a mason. I'm gonna be tasting the picture of my efforts and they're painting them, crafting the blank into content that my efforts are painting them. And I can't completely stop with this or it from spreading. Now tell me, what's the aim of what you're perfecting? That's like marble. I so appreciate y'all tuning in here. I got one more for you before I'm gonna bring on Black Soul. Very good. Thank you. All right, so y'all, part of the responsibility of being an artist, part of the responsibility of being handed a microphone I think is to really spread a message, try to go out there and change somebody just that little bit. So this is the piece I want you to take with you to change just that little bit. This is called man. A man in his hatred of this world still makes space for love. His mother, she taught him right. Respect your woman, honor her soul. She's your better half, but treat her as a whole. It's not hard. Just be a bastion of a kind strength. Be her warmth and be her stone. And make sure she never feels alone in the same room. Let your shoulders be a home and keep an open door with your heart. So you don't have to start perfect. Just try. Try and invest your spirit the same way that she will. Talk when you could yell. Tell her your feelings. There is no need for screaming, allow her healing. You don't have to be holding the roof up in solidarity. She will surely stand with you if you'll sit with her. She will love you more than you know. The least you can do is grow. Show her that she is an angel. The world will have tried to take that from her. Tell her that she's perfect. The world will have tarnished that inner mirror. Hold her near. She has chosen to be yours. Let her stand beside you and never behind you. You see, his mother taught him to be a man, to stand with true dignity and to treat his woman to her natural divinity. He was also told in all true real truth about our reality and shown it to be firsthand daily. Not every boy will grow to be manly, but they will still claim this title and hold on to it strongly, often saying how much of a real man they are. Far from it, they will curse Soul. They will throw her body away after being used like an empty wrapper instead of honoring that beautifully tenacious flower. She said, you will understand this wrong. And it will be part of earning the title of man to stand against these boys because yours will understand her queendom because you must show every boy to be a knight, not in shining armor, but in regular clothing because it's easy to act the part when people are looking. It matters more how we are behaving when the blinds are drawn. You will never embrace a true love's dawn without showing compassion to all. See, being a man means always living like it. Set and stand for an example. It means not allowing a boy to take what is it has because it was too stupid to learn the very complex, amazing of the world we call it a word. No! See, I was always taught to look for more. So instead of waiting, for no one listen for yes. And while respecting her feelings, it's not complex. Let me break it down. Boys will come first. A man wants her to be satisfied. It's not really that challenging, just a simple change of what you're expecting. If she's special, which she is, treat her like it. And if you say that you are a man, well, then act like it. And that's that piece. Thank you guys so much. So Thank you. you all that new stuff. Yeah, that's great. And I'm working here on getting uh, Black Soul pulled up. And then I'm also going to go ahead and bring in um, Nate and Alexander from Two Wolves. That way we've got them here set up. Um, thank you guys for uh, hanging in there. We're having um, just a, a few, uh, 
you know, little thing hiccups tonight, but it's the sophomore performance, the sophomore album, right? That's what you're supposed to do. Um, I'm Carice with 785 Magazine. Um, thank you and welcome to the 785 House Concert, which is supporting local artists and musicians, um, poetry and prose and events that were supposed to be happening this week. We can see Nate over here at Two Wolves, which is awesome. Um, just so you know, um, to the right is a little chat thing. You guys can chat with each other. There is a question at the bottom. There's a button, a link, so you can see different links um, afterwards. We will be here every Friday for the month of April with different musicians. And your cover charge, um, all of that will go directly to the artists that are performing that evening. So we appreciate it. Every little bit helps. And uh, yeah. So, uh, Matt, if it's cool, Nate, if you're cool, since you're right yeah. here, I didn't have you guys play. And Matt, I'm going to keep you around and try to get uh, Black Soul back up here um, right after, if that yeah. works. Absolutely. I'm yeah, right here. Y'all break a leg. Kill okay, it, great. Thanks, man. How hey, is man, that, how it What was that? How's it going? Can you guys oh, hear me? Great. Awesome. Hear me? Yeah, I, you're, you're cool. doing good. You got, you cool. know, yeah. we have. Do we have good got, video? Sorry. You do. Uh, let me do a do a little quick get it sound check here for me, Nate. Can I hear a little vocal? Nate? Okay. <laughs> You got that famous name kind of echo loop or whatever effect you have on there, which I love. You sound great, man. So uh, everybody, this is Nate yeah. in the evening. Beautiful, beautiful person, musician, um, also plays with Soul Rebel and the Beast, hence why I did not wear my Soul Rebel and the Beast shirt tonight. Um, but mm -hmm. does a solo act as well. Um, you were supposed to perform at- uh, Happy Bassett. Happy Bassett, and then also Cyrus, correct? Uh, yeah, Cyrus next weekend, and Happy Bassett tomorrow night. Yeah, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but I'm here. And um, of course, oh, yeah. thank you everybody for joining us and helping support. So you've got about 15 minutes, man. Um, I'm just gonna get out of here and let you take the stage and do your thing. Sweet, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. I got things that ain't got no steps. 
I'll let the music pull me around. I got pants and got no steps. I'll let the music pull me around. We go around in circles. So from now on, 75 house concerts, bring your own wine and bring your own applause. Yes. Yeah. Never leave home without your own applause. Never leave home without your own applause. Making shirts right now. That's that's my main instrument is my applause. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do an, an original uh, song that's very uh, uh, appropriate for this time. It's called uh, Stuck Here Inside. Thank you. 
We have a fan over here. Uh, Lilia says hi, and she just loves the studio. And thank you for all the art. Oh, hi, too. Please tell her I said hello. She can hear you. She wave. Okay, I would hop off. Keep going, Nate. This is great. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right, here we go. She's got class and 
down, sweet knowledge by the pound, better never act wild, very low key on the profile, catch your feelings is a no, let me tell you how it goes, curves the words, spins the verbs, love is in curves, so freak what you heard, rolling with the fat is, you don't even know what the half is, just for sure to bang bang and look your way. Black way working, do your time all day, every day. Take time, maybe I can beat you in my ride. Black way working, no diggity, won't bag it up. I like the way you're working, no diggity, won't bag it up. Black way you're working, no diggity, won't bag it up. Like the way you're working, no diggity. Don't tell anybody. I like the way Nate works it. Ha ha. <laughs> hey, no diggity. <laughs> is that, do I have time for one more? Is that it? Or Oh, okay, yeah. Go. Yeah, you totally have time for one more, for sure. Yeah. Uh, the question is, question is actually a, a loop that you're doing and then you on the guitar. It's just you, right? Yeah. No, Alexander's playing all that instruments in the background. Just joking, <laughs> just joking. Yep, yep, okay. Uh, <laughs> good job, Alexander. <laughs> Just have time for one. Thank you, mate. Okay, I'll, I'll do one more. Okay. This is a Link Ray song. It's called Fire and Brimstone. Thank you. 
There's a light shining bright, shining down on me. I saw fire and brimstone coming down on my head. I saw fire and brimstone coming down on my head. I looked around. I saw eyes. I heard a voice come to me, hear a rumbling beneath my feet, and the whole world was shaking free, and the sun was standing still, everything was dark, but I could see, I saw fire, a green storm coming down on my head, I saw fire, a green storm down so good <laughs> Anybody, anywhere, anything, you always seem to capture the emotion. I just really appreciate you. Thank you. I'm glad. Thank you. <laughs> but, uh, thank you, Justin uh, Fowler, for performing this evening as well. We also had uh, Ellie Smith and Ryan. We had some hiccups there. Sound check. So we're going to sound check with them next week and hopefully bring them up. I appreciate Sarah Fizel for joining us from Arts Connect. And of course, Alex Lancaster from Two World Studio and Gallery. You want to say a couple things, Alex? Yeah, I would love to say something. What's up, man? Just jumping in here. Wait. Oh God, we're all scared. <laughs> here, let's 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 really do the times, right? There you go. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm don't offended, but I still have my saw. That's a yeah. fucking awesome commodity. And what else is an awesome commodity is our artists in our town. I always said for the longest time that when things go down, I know our artists in this town are going to come together and make things better. And so I appreciate you, Nate. I appreciate 75. I appreciate Justin. I appreciate all you guys that's doing this. This is really what it's going to take 
for us to, to heal. Art is a healing power, and I totally believe in it. So thank you so much to every, everybody for what y'all are doing. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. That's what I wanted to say. Thank you. One more time for me. I have to give a huge shout out to Vaughn Kaufman, the last songwriter performed last week, to Matt Spezia from Poetry for Personal Power. Yeah. Matt's that's everything I wanted to say and more and didn't know how to say it. And, um, you know, poetry is powerful and we're coming into April, which is national poetry month. Matt's going to be joining us every Friday night with different guests. We will get black soul up here uh, next week as well. And, um, obviously, uh, Cleveland Blue as well, who has been an amazing help uh, performing. Um, if you're down for it, Nate, uh, you want to send us off with one more, uh, maybe? Oh, yeah. a more? Sure. And then, sure. and then I'm going to dance, and when you're done, we'll just be done. So um, I, I have to thank all of you, you, that's you at home, uh, for, being here, for supporting for supporting local music. Um, if you're here supporting it, I am certain that you're the person that is out also supporting it. Um, and it makes a difference. It makes a difference for the venues, for the artists. You hear them now. Where do you think artists come from? You know, they're homegrown and they're built and we've got to support that. And so I thank you for supporting them and supporting 785 Magazine and um, being locally proud. So mwah, 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 much love. Be safe and healthy. Yay. And I'll let Nate finish off with one more and we'll see you right back here here next week from 7 to 8 30 and have a great week thank you grace thank you. Thank you. all right i think i'm going to close with some shade Shadow boxing.
Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next week. Thank you, Queen. Thanks.